All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing all right. Thank you for being here. Let's see who is here. Um, uh, Azriel, Springy Rubber, Pepega, Vilperni, Black Dude 378, Penguin Question Mark, Disturbed Freak, Big Waif, Steel Gore, Chatire, uh, Dralaric, AM, Realoska, Fragalos, Call Me Nader, Luke 8, uh, The Lion V, Zeo Evil, Speed Strat, Corn Dog Joe, Ao Lock Free, Three Mountaineers, Sully, Picnic, um, Cortex Vortex, Big Trash King, 56k. Um, I said Call Me Nader, right? I think I did. Almost Luigi, Kawai Desu, BZ, Zentomo. Oh shit, it just zipped me to the bottom already. Uh, where was I? Oh, there I was. MK4002, JR, Sounder Blue, Austin Coolston. Um, said Big Wave, right? I did. My Missing Hair, it's Malpal, the Brand Dam, DJ Rush, uh, BT Abercrombie. Did I say the Mayor JT? The Mayor JT, Nike Sugar. Metal Migo, uh, Victor, Mod Fod, Ziltama, Spicy Yellowtail Roll, Boninos, uh, Tommy Boy, Mikaroni, The Goth, Jaeger, uh, Tepe. All right, let's see who's over on uh, YouTube. We got Freddy, Chris, RMS Gaming, Kobai Desu, Malpal, Culture with a K, Drew's Reviews. What is up everyone over on YouTube? Sunset, also there. All right guys, we need to, um, we needed to do a little bet here. Get things started. What are we thinking here? How about, uh, Let's go cannon or clown car. That sounds fair, right? see first cannon or clown car place your bets we are on a six streak from yesterday let's try and uh, run it up for Wrestlemania I don't even follow wrestling I'm not going to Wrestlemania I have no idea who's even in it the eclipse I'm going up into the sky and covering up the sun I'm the one that makes the eclipse happen <clears throat> all right um, it's time to begin level one Shun, thank you for the 35 months really appreciate it thank you very much Shun. Spike Top Puzzle 2 by Zappa. Uh, puzzle, great. Let's see it. All right, good, great. What am I trying to do? Getting this P-switch door up there, I guess. I oh, can't see it. Uh, 
Um, okay. So it looks as though we need to escort a spike top, which is going to come out of here. So, okay, so this is going to be a spike helmet. One of them is going to be a spike helmet, I'm not sure which. And both of these are probably going to be a spike top. interesting. So the spike top's gonna be in this block. We need to get it to activate both blocks then. All right, I think this is the first step. Wait, two pals, that is, explains a lot. Why is it coming this way? What? <clears throat> Wait, how did it turn around? It was supposed to go up and around here and activate this block. I don't understand why it turned around. I guess there's a one way behind there or something. It's annoying. have to put this here then. No, not there. Here then. Wait, that has a key too? That's fine. It shouldn't be an issue to get that key. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we put that there. It climbs up there. Goes around here. figure out how to get it up here. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. Please, please, wear tiny cowboy hats instead of playing this level. The 
fucking swamp didn't trigger. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna have to do this again, I guess. solved the puzzle. Your schedule says that you will start stream at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Can you please explain why that never happens? Please explain. Please explain why you are late. No, it's uh, just one of the world's great mysteries. All right, I'm surprised that you didn't do anything with the second pal, like require you to bring it through the door at least. Pipe up there. It's Toad, Captain Toad. Potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, 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 potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago. Potato, tomato, oh, Trinidad uh, yeah, and we can get on that and potato, then go to the right. Tomato, right, I got you, Trinidad I got you. and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, 
tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago, potato, tomato, Trinidad and Tobago. Hi. I'd like to talk to you about a company called Pied Piper. What does it do? Good question. Maybe you can help us find an answer. What if I told you Pied Piper was an app that could attract rodents? You know, like the fairy tale. For purposes of extermination or to feed your pet snake. We're not here to tell you what to do with your rats. We're here to get you rats. Stat. Would you be very interested? Somewhat interested or not interested? Let's try this. Which one? Which one? Which one? Do I want a fire flower? Slash slash jampoo. 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 Hello Aura and Chat. This is the governor of Alabama, Alabama. I regret to inform you that the Alabama beach mouse has gone extinct. One of our scientists accidentally put it in the microwave since he thought it was a chimichanga. Our bad. We have sent for a statue of the beloved mouse to put on his front lawn to commemorate its life. We know or love the mouse as much as fucking Chat's wife. We hope to see the mouse prominently displayed on his lawn and at times on his stream. Aura. This is HK. I am traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. Wow. It was inside the box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadfort. But since it would be too difficult for me for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Roadport. Cheer 100. Okay, I'll be right over. I didn't need to 
you go in there. Oh shit, this This is the subworld. Well, I guess we have one choice and it's this one. Wait, I could have gone in the bottom one maybe? I could have gone in this one if I still had the boot. Alright, well, that sucks. All that work for nothing. Get over here. Okie doke. What a level. When your brain notices something, you feel it. You can feel your tongue. 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 Oh, no. 
Still playing Final Fantasy. Long game, yeah. Seeing you at Miku Expo in Vancouver tomorrow? Is that a thing? No, I don't think you will. This mofo bald. Damn, 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 this mofo bald. Damn. This mofo bald. Damn, 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 this mofo bald. Damn. I can't stop thinking about munchers. Honestly, they're dark. Hollow shells get me harder than a fucking fortress. Although, sometimes, I like to think they aren't really solid but kinda soft instead. Fleshy and black. Like velvet, you know? Like a tense fist that allows you to feel the bones beneath the jelly-like skin. You could rub their round body. Maybe it's just me but thinking about that titillates me even more. I just want to be nibbled by their tough beaks. What a sensation. Interesting. I wonder if I have to bring this pal all the way though. you want this, bald man, to bob his head, side to side yeah. Our dance too, if you want this, bald man, to bob his head, side to side yeah. Our dance too, if you want this, bald man, to bob his head, side to side yeah. 
Our dance too, if you want this, bob man, to bob his head, side to side yeah. Our dance too, if you want this, bald man, to bob his head, side to side yeah. Our dance too, if you want this, bald man, to bob his head, side to side yeah. Our dance too, if you want this, bald man, to bob his head, side to side. Wait, what am I gonna do over here? Like, even if I hit that midair, I don't think that's far enough. Maybe I have to uh, blow up the blocks over the pipes and go in the pipes. Okay, chat. I've had enough of your crap. Bleep, you, chat. 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 Can't go in there. Bleep, oh, there's a bomb, you, though. chat. Bleep, you, chat. Bleep, you, chat. Bleep, you, chat. Bleep, you, chat. Another bomb. You, chat. Can't go in there. Bleep, you, chat. 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 Anything up here? Bleep, you, chat. No. Bleep, you, chat. Bleep, you, chat. Bleep, you, chat. Bleep, you, chat. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing chat. here. Bleep, you, uh -huh. chat. That helps, Bleep. okay. I can't stop thinking about Uther's bald head. Honestly, his shiny, smooth dome gets me harder than a fucking Koopa Kid castle. Although, sometimes, I like to think his head isn't really solid but kinda soft instead. Fleshy and pale. Like velvet, you know? Like a tense fist that allows you to feel the bones beneath the jelly-like skin. You could rub his round head. Maybe it's just me, but thinking about that titillates me even more. What a sensation. Hope there's something useful in this one. Oh man. What the fuck, dude? Seems like I need to get the fire flower over here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Pow is necessary, it could be. Looking if you can't get over trapped bald. 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 Looking.
trying to get a mushroom. I think it'll make... Getting the bomb easier when we have to blow up the wall. Curious as to what's in that block down there. Could be necessary. Second one. Po clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg. Shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you make annoying POW levels for egg shaped streamers. Pipo clap if you are just plain annoying. created in 1982 by Howard Arostein and Sventerson. The concept was that a person would play pinball while viewers would come up to the stage and tell little stories or most often just gibberish for comedic effect. Later they started to play also on arcade machines. The show is still running on Twitch today. The current Ritter, Stanley Schmidt, is the 12th Ritter. The 7th Ritter, Gus McKinney, Thank had you. a memorable catchphrase that he would often say while playing pinball, I push the plunger. This referred to launching the ball into play on the pinball machine. Years later, the 12th Theritur Stanley Schmidt modified this catchphrase to I push jump when playing Mario Maker, as a reference to making a character jump. So the iconic I push jump actually originated from a pinball related saying by a previous Theritur. The floor is lava. Oh Oh, 
Do I trust this? What's down here? Hang on. Seven in a row. M Maker, M Maker, Zotama, Zotama, M Maker, Zotama, Zotama, Pink Telephone Hat, Zotama, M Maker, thank you for the 100 bits. Hex Root, thank you for the 13 months. Do we have a winner for the bet, by the way? Maverick, thank you for the 34 months. Zotama, thank you for the 100 bits. Enforced, Two Melty, Springy Rubber, thank you for the 100 bits. Sete, thank you for the 40 months. Pink Telephone Hat, Espaloos, Cosmic, Zotama, thank you for the 100 bits. M Maker, thank you for the gift sub to Grunku, Clown Car one. Welcome back, Gronku. Thank you, M Maker. Stuminati, thank you for the 40 months. Shun, thank you for the 35 months. I already said that, actually. Okay. Um, all right, Clown Car wins. Wow, good odds on that one. Huh? Moshman, thank you for the 73 months. Really appreciate it. I was waiting since 2019 for you to play 100 man Thank again. You, Mosh, man. Thanks for the entertainment. Keep it going. No problem, no problem. All right. All right, guys, we're going to do a battle of the dead enemies. Dry bones or boo slash boo ring. What will we see first? Place your bets. Place your bets. What's up? Don't mind if I do. Will I do no death normal? Eh, not in Mario Maker 1. We'll do it again in Mario Maker 2. Let me see if the last NBA game is over. 
Phoenix, Cleveland, I think. Cleveland was getting their ass beat. Oh, it's in the fourth quarter. It's basically over though. Let's just, let's just take a quick look. 19 points with a minute left. Probably no one of note is in the uh, in the game anymore. All right, Max Struess. Wow, he actually got 12 rebounds and eight assists, one steal, one block, a bunch of turnovers. That sucks. Not the greatest percentages, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Donovan Mitchell back. Actually had a decent game. Jared Allen was pretty solid. Mobley was solid, and they still lost by 20. Kevin Durant, 32 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, not bad. 3 of 4 from the free throw line, not amazing, but eh, we'll take it. Devin Booker had 40, pretty solid game there. No one else really did much of anything for Phoenix, just those two. Bol Bol actually had a nice game off the bench. Luckily today, guys, I don't need to make any moves. My team played pretty well, I would say. <sighs> That's a nice day, except for turnovers, which were terrible. And uh, I'm going to lose a point in turnovers, but that's... triples did I make today? 13. 73 rebounds is nice. It's real nice. squad only what like 10 11 more days 11 more days I think in this season M maker thank you for the gift sub to make lag welcome aboard make lag thank you very much M maker Ryan Rhino thank you for the eight months really appreciate it Zoltama thank you for the hundred bits goes offline April 8th. Man, hold up, it's going down. Thank you for the 27 months. Really appreciate it. Our shock rock. Right, I 
I forgot. These guys don't always throw... In Mario Maker 2, they always throw one hammer first. So if you time it, you can just go under there for the hammer. These guys can do anything. Just do that. Okay. P-switch. What am I doing with a P-switch? Is there anything down here that I needed a P-switch for? I guess I did need it for that, huh? Okay. Let's see if we can do, let's do one attempt. <sighs> Pretty close. Oh my god. Barb coming in with the big raid. Welcome in everyone. Hope you guys are doing alright. Hope the stream went well, Barb. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys don't know Barb, go follow him. He's a good dude. And some hell divers tonight, right? Hell divers too. Butt jams. Butt chips, 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 so yeah, thanks a lot, Barb, if you guys are just coming in. Uh, I'm playing Mario Maker 1 for the final week of its existence. It goes offline April 8th. So we're just doing a little farewell tour here. Lick my yussy and my crack. My neck. My back. Lick my yussy and my crack. super experts. My neck. My back. Lick my yussy and my crack. My neck. My back. Alright, let's get out of here. Lick my yussy and my crack. My neck. My back. Lick my yussy and my crack. My neck. My Whoa, back. Whoa, hello. Lick my yussy and my crack. Uh, okay. A Yoshi. That is interesting. Let's fly. Okay, so there's the end of the level. Fuck you and fuck the bald horse chat rode in on our yikes. here. Nope. Okay, there we go, nice. See, so yeah, I'll be playing this today, I'll be playing this tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be my last day because I'm going out of town this weekend. I won't be back until Tuesday. Uh... So unfortunately, I won't be here for the actual, like, last final hours of Mario Maker 1, but, uh, you know, Mario Maker 1... Oh, oh, no. 
So many quality levels like this one. Um, is there something hidden here? This is this is not looking great. What? What is this? Maybe I just drop straight down before all this gets here. Wow. Boo. You cannot boo in this game, unfortunately. That is only Mario. Can Mario do the rum shaker? The plumber shaker. Give me the plumber shaker, Baldi. I don't know what you're talking about. This is uh, actually pretty annoying. Hmm. Maybe if I cut that a little bit closer. Share how old I am. I am 79 years old. Pink telephone hat, thank you for the gift sub to Big Titty Goth Girlfriend. Welcome aboard, Big Titty Goth Girlfriend. Yeah, this is annoying. How do I get out of this? Is there a play Barb's level? I've played a lot of Barb's levels in this game. Actually, yeah, I was, I'm planning on um, going through and saving, you know, downloading some of the old classics. There we go. Is that it? Saving some of the old classics, including at least a couple barb levels. I don't know. What are the what are the best barb levels from this game? Firefield, I would say, would be the first one. Just some of the real influential early Kaizo levels. Um, obviously, like P break and U break. Even though I never even beat U break. Oh shit, okay. Ma I'm not gonna save Master and Commander. No, I did not enjoy that level. Uh, that one is... I'm fine with never playing that again. There's a lot of enemies over here, which is annoying. Uh... Uh... Holy shit. <laughs> How am I alive? Why do I feel like I'm gonna fall? Let's like hedge my bets a little bit. A single note block, that's it. Okay, hold right, I'm guessing, and maybe we land on it. SM1 Garbo is much more innocent than SM2 Garbo. Yeah, I think... Part of the problem was just... Like, clear conditions and... Oh, okay. We'll take that, it's easier. Clear conditions, nighttime effects... All that stuff just made trolling that much easier. Putting lava halfway across the screen... Along with like, what do you call it? Uh, custom auto scroll allowed. Like, trolls just went crazy with that shit. All right, I'm just gonna try to hold right here and hope this works. Dance Club. Uh, 
think it's too high. I think I make that. I need to jump off the other one. Yeah, and this game had stuff like that, which was a lot more uh, interesting. Have you ever played Donkey Kong 94 on the Game Boy? Donkey Kong 94? No, I don't think so. What is that? Oh, shit. One of the best Mario games ever. Donkey Kong 94. Sub a dub dub. Interesting. I'll look it up, yeah. I'll see. Sun behind cloud, sunrise over mountains, bald man getting spotted in the hedge maze and calling Salvatore Moron. Sun with face, cloud, sun behind cloud, sunrise over mountains, bald man beating up the only maid left in the prosecutor's mansion. Sun with face, Play cloud, too with chat. sun behind cloud, sunrise over mountains, bald man eating spaghetti in the Italian too. restaurant yeah, while a group of gangsters are ambushing him. Sun with face, cloud, sun behind cloud. Sunrise over mountains, bald man knocking out a janitor on a cruise ship and trying to throw him overboard. Sun with face, cloud, sun behind cloud, sunrise over mountains, bald man hearing an enemy shout Molotov and running into the line of fire and complaining that it took so long. Sun with face, cloud, sun behind cloud, sunrise over mountains. To all my mice on the beach, whose extinction's in reach. In Alabama with flavor. Living highly endangered. Beach, 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 beach mouse. Beach, 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 this level is beach, pretty mouse. hard for beach, an early beach, level. Beach, beach, mouse. You can kind of tell when the levels were uh, made based on Our world is in peril. Guy the level code. And man. this one I think is pretty can no early on. Stand the terrible silence plaguing our chat. She gives five magic polishing rags to five special bulb people. From Africa, Dan G, with the power of Earth. From the North America, Tofu with the power of Fire. From the Soviet Union, Fails with the power of Wind. From Asia, Patty with the power of Water. And from Texas, or with the power of Our Heart. With the five powers combined they summon Chat's greatest champion, our Captain Planet. Let me tell you something, playing these courses with alternate clear conditions is gonna be a huge pain in the ass. You're gonna have people, making troll courses, of collecting like, 50 coins, and having one coin in the most obscure spot possible. And it's gonna be like super tedious too. Like you saw in the first trailer where it was like, I think they had like 113 coins or something. You can make that really long and terrible. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. Did I say that? I mean... <laughs> Pretty much predicted the future, did I not? Our Captain Planet, he's our hero, gonna bring the life count down to zero. Damn, that is a really tight jump. Mushroom power up. I wonder. Could we possibly get Bowser to break through a wall for us? It'd be kind of a pain with all these enemies around, but. Maybe I'll try. 
try to do that. And then just avoid the sub world altogether. Especially if I could bring a clown car through there, that would be great. Do I try to go over? Maybe I try to do this. Oh man, there's a bunch of thwaps here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, uh, now it's a wall. Never mind. Alright, we have to go in the subworld. That's awesome. finally hit that super tight jump and it's just like, I mean, who even knows what that is? This is horrible. I would be... Where did I find that door to the end? this one, right? It's just this door. Kind of got me to the end. Just need a power-up. I wonder if there's like a hidden power-up that lets you go straight there. It's kind of what it feels like. This feels super unreasonable. Even the creator would be annoyed clearing this. SMM1 streams. GL tonight. Thanks. Can't hang around too long and look for things, but... Try no jump? Okay, that's what it is. Alright, we made it. Now what? Didn't we see on the other side of a wall there was like shops over here or something? Let's see what this is, because if it comes back up... Nothing. But we can jump over there and that might be something. Sir Snaz. Oh, 
You know Aura, if the devil trapped me in a jail, and told me I had to pick one person on earth to do a shell jump, and if he fails I get thrown into a pit, I would choose you, smiling face with hearts, romantic face, smiling face with hearts, romantic face, smiling wow. face with hearts, romantic face, be... smiling face with hearts, romantic face, smiling face with hearts, romantic face, smiling Not face with hearts, choice, romantic okay. face, smiling face with hearts, romantic 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 face, celebratory gesture. There might be more room to work with beneath the screen in Mario Maker 1. Feels like I'm getting down really low and not dying. I don't know if that's a thing though. occasionally it's fun. share my bald story with you. What bald story? Try this again. I'm just gonna jump out here. Or is this just death too? Hmm. 
there supposed to be a bomb? Oh, hello. Interesting, okay. Now what? This makes me feel like this is the correct way to go. Like getting under that, maybe I can make it. It's pretty tight though. and the ability to donate anything you want is the most anti-anxiety thing ever. Celebratory gesture. This level looks insane, but you got this. Well, I mean, not anything you want, but... Hmm. So... Have I seen another door in the main world? I don't know that I have. There wasn't a door in there, was there? No. I didn't see it, there's just a stack of munchers there on the other side of the wall. jump. I don't believe I've seen another door in the main world, right? I would not be surprised if this led me right back to the beginning, though. It might be more subworld stuff. Oh, you can't even go in here. It might just be you have to hit a tight jump here. There's definitely, uh, you can definitely do it. It's just about timing it right. 
Whoops. Oh, okay. I guess I should have gone to the right there and that would have been easier. But, you know, we'll just thread the needle, that's fine. I didn't even push, I didn't want to push up right there, so. Level three. Whoops. You beat the level by accident. Celebratory Speed gesture. Build. Celebratory hands in the air. Celebratory gesture. 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 Celebratory hands in the air. Wait, was the end? Celebratory gesture. Celebratory hands in the air. 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 Celebratory gesture. Celebratory. What a moment. Level four. Task two. Mini midair times two. Hmm. What the fuck is this? Obscene gesture. One, we just gotta chain two together. I wonder if you could just do that. A mini shell jump might work on the second one. Just depends if there's hidden blocks there. There might be hidden blocks. Oh, 
Let's fucking go. Next level. Time that a little better, I guess. I'm not sure if we're on a timer for this P switch. What am I doing? It's been built. This looks like it could be a tough one. Precise level. Shit, I have to escort that. Uh, let's see if we can go back. Alabama bald man beach house beach man bald house drop it beach mouse beach beach mouse beach mouse mouse beach beach mouse beach beach mouse beach mouse mouse beach mouse beach mouse beach I'm just gonna throw the shell away. Oh, 
Um, wait a minute, hang on. Yeah, we gotta go on the bottom of that. Fuck. No, I don't have a helmet. to throw this at something yet, so let me just... No... No... Alright, I'm gonna put it on, I think. Six inches bald, six inches beach, six inches man, six inches Ow. mouse, six inches drop it beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse, six inches, six inches, six inches, six inches beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse, six inches, six inches beach, mouse, speech, speech, mouse, speech, speech, mouse, six inches. Man, Bowser fight. Take it nice and slow. Please, please. Thank you. Looks like I need the pow down there.
That was the toughest one yet, for sure. Didn't I have the third most playtime in SMM when SMM2 came out? I don't know. I had a lot of playtime though. Random user. Oh, this is the run. Pog bones, pog bones, pog bones, 48 levels and counting what a moment hour shock to. Thank you for the three months. Thank you very much, random user. JMR Splat, thank you for the 100 bits. Friday, thank you for the 17 months. Nil, thank you for the 43 months. Uncle Steve Arino, thank you for the 31 months. Uh, do we have a winner for the bet, guys? Do we have a winner for the bet? There's boo, right? What is my PB? 19. All right. Boo slash boo ring. All right, guys. Um. Magikoopa or Lakitu, guys? Magikoopa or Lakitu? Uh, just Lakitu, not Lakitu Cloud. Can you even put the clouds separately in this game? I think you can, but whatever. Just the Lakitu itself, not the cloud. Alright, let me continue thanking people. M Maker, Fresh Prince, Cham Cham Chamaz, Cham Chamaz, thank you for the 100 bits. Brain Bombs, thank you for the 47 months. Jimmy RPH, thank you for the 100 bits. M Maker, Sayoya, Corner Threes, Captain Yoshi, thank you for the 100 bits. Scrap Hearts, thank you for the 21 months. Sultama, thank you for the 101 bits. Um, I said pink telephone hat. Vinda, thank you for the 7 months. By Tor the Catfish, thank you for the 26 months. Corner Threes, thank you for the 100 bits. Lonely Guy, thank you for the 4 years. Barb, thank you for the 89 months. Zoltama, thank you for the 100 bits. M Maker, thank you for the gift sub to K Sabri. Welcome back, K Sabri. Thank you, M Maker. Uh, Zoltama, thank you for the 100 bits. Man, hold up, it's going down. Thank you for the 27 months. I think I maybe I already said that. All right, I guess we're all caught up.
Alright. Um, another run. Let's do it. None of these key doors seem great. Is that a fireball? It's a Bowser fireball. Great. Not only do I have to do a blind jump, but... Maybe with a triple jump I can make that, but even so, there's just Bowsers over there. I don't know what I'm doing from there. Anything over here? No, I don't think I can make that actually. It looks like it was coming up short. Alright, looks like we're trying to get in the one that doesn't kill you. We'll see if it works out. First one. Ikea should sell an Alabama Beach Mouse plush like the Blodge. People still prefer to play the OG Mario Maker? Uh, only reason I'm playing it is because servers are going down soon. Soon it will be literally unplayable. Sadly. That hits me? Why does that hit me? a better game. There's a lot of aspects of it that are better. I wouldn't say it's necessarily the better game. Though. This is what I need. things first. Underpaid. I'm overworked and 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 underpaid. 
I'm overworked and underpaid. I'm overworked and underpaid. I'm overworked and underpaid. I'm overworked and underpaid. I'm overworked and underpaid. Oh boy, alright. Uh well, I mean could just ground pound through this, but who knows, maybe we can't do that. Are down there. I'll have to get out to the left there. How am I going to get through these guys? This it's just annoying as hell. Back up, Bowser. Yeah, get up there with him. That's nice, actually. Save me some time. Thank you. Alright. Dog is a one quarter of a pound hot dog sold at the International Warehouse Club Costco's food courts. It is notable for its price, which has remained steady at $1.50 in a combo deal, including a soda at United States locations since its introduction in 1984. That price has become increasingly low relative to inflation and spawned a cult following. The Costco hot dog was introduced to food courts in 1984, one year after Costco's opening in 1983. The original hot dog was made by Hebrew National, and was sold at a hot dog cart outside a Costco location in San Diego. The price was set at $1.50 at its introduction, and has remained at $1.50 ever since. Nice. The product varies across countries, the US version consists of a Kirkland brand wiener, some warehouses selling it with a sesame bun, some selling it with a plain bun. How do I do silence club? Hey Aura, it's your high school bully Tanner. Your girl told me you had trouble with a chocobo in Cosmo Canyon. Time your dives better bro, hold down as long as you can before going up. Don't be afraid to circle back to get to the jets again. It's not cheese. Now just do better. By the way, Aerith over Tifa any day. Smell you later nerd. In 2008, Costco began using its own Weird. hot dog factories, reducing supply chain costs. A Costco meat processing facility in Tracy, California, that had been around since 2004 began producing hot dogs in 2011, and produced both the hot dogs sold in the food court as well as smaller hot dogs sold in packs. The switch also ushered in the usage of non-kosher beef. Another facility was opened in Morris, Illinois in 2018. The soda fountains at the Costco food courts were stocked with Coca-Cola products until 2013, when Costco switched to Pepsi products as a cost savings measure for the combo. As of 2018, Costco sold a yearly average of 135 million hot dogs, more than every major league baseball stadium combined. In 2022, Costco CFO Richard Galandi stated that Costco intends to keep the combo deal's price constant forever. The hot dog and soda combo deal has developed a cult following. Several t-shirt designs are sold online that celebrate the food court sign advertising the combo. In 2009, the Seattle Times asked Costco co-founder, and then CEO, Jim Sinegal, if, the price of the hot dog, ever goes up, what will it mean? Sinegal replied, that I'm dead. Craig Jelinek, 
the current CEO of Costco, revealed in 2018 that he approached Cynical about raising the price of the hot dog combo, saying, Jim, we can't sell this hot dog for a buck fifty. We are losing our rear ends. According to Jelinek, Cynical replied, If you raise the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Figure it out. Sam's Club, a Costco competitor, reduced the price of its hot dog and soda combo deal to $1.38 in November 2022 in an attempt to compete with the Costco hot dog. Hmm. Silence Club I didn't get a checkpoint, did I? Several explanations exist as to why Costco chooses to continue to sell its hot dog combo at an unusually low price point. When asked why the price of the hot dog was significant to him, Jim Cynical said, because everybody talks about it. People look at that hot dog and say a buck fifty, this is unbelievable, he continued, we're known for that hot dog. That's something you don't mess with. According to David Fuller, Assistant Vice President of Publishing, Costco wanted to prove that a business can operate on a fair markup and still pay all of its bills. Holding a price that's steady for that long sends a clear message about what is possible when you decide to operate your business model on a cost plus basis instead of a what the market will bear basis. Costco Vice President Bob Nelson stated that it epitomizes the value that we stand for. Some commentators and employees have called the hot dog a lost leader drawing in enough customers to compensate for lost profits. Costco CFO Richard Galanti did not directly confirm or deny this theory, but commented that needless to say we aren't making a lot or any profit on food court products. Some have also theorized that the popularity of the food court, which is located near the entrance at Costco locations, creates a welcoming atmosphere, luring in more customers and encouraging. Begin RSA private key, meek cyba kbg xcp fus 91 ukra 6 bl 5 stri plus mwrwm 0 isewb at grade 06 x e 8 o 8 2 dan 8 fmwab mshik 2 x vhc x l n 3 new ace x gud uched plus k s q n e 3 o e 8 p p p 15 k r t 46 loss e 5 x 5 c z z m t v 6 h 0 m x t rack 4 c h w l c k s z ru adak avokin 0 u plus h plus x mshik 2 5 f boy i e 3 35 FDs is to click to 7 KMV ANR FTH BQV JRMU 7 plus 1 URI 1 X WKBM 5 plus 1 Zolim 7 Phi 1 Ho Oaks Pow 8 X plus 12 A2 FF Stumpf Mesa U plus J dot P 6 TL 6 and Squirty FX CJRG slash JJG 1 Nugent 3 S4 Zioc 7 P plus Ja 4 F Relep Dubs City Cur 6 Zios 42 to SQ AC and Twi slash NJLB 00 Dip 3 R He MR slash Junior slash Fashion for plus looks that they join nine MK and PPTTX new. A hot dog is a dish consisting of a grill, steamed, or boiled sausage served in the slit of a partially sliced bun. The term hot dog can refer to the sausage itself. The sausage used is a wiener, Vienna sausage, or a frankfurter, frankfurter Brustchen, also just called frank. The names of these sausages commonly refer to their assembled dish. Hot dog preparation and condiments vary worldwide. 
Typical condiments include mustard, ketchup, relish, onions and tomato sauce, and cheese sauce. Probably These something types of hidden sausages there too. were culturally imported from Germany and became popular in the United States. It became a working class street food in the US, sold at stands and carts. The hot dog became closely associated with baseball in American culture. Although particularly connected with New York City and its cuisine, mm -hmm. the hot dog eventually became ubiquitous throughout the US during the 20th century. Its preparation varies regionally in the country, emerging as an important part of it. Soccer ball, 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 soccer ball. Soccer ball, 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 soccer ball. Soccer ball, 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 soccer ball. What's in here? Death. Not death. Mushroom. There is an ongoing debate about whether or not a hot dog fits the description of a sandwich. The National Hot Dog and Sausage Council NHDSC, has declared that a hot dog is not a sandwich. Hot dog eating champions Joey Chestnut and Takeri Kobayashi agree with the NHDSC. Merriam-Webster, on the other hand, has stated that a hot dog is indeed a sandwich. United States Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg also weighed in on the matter, stating that a hot dog might be categorized as a the world's longest hot dog had been 60 meters, 197 feet, long and rested within a 60.3 meter, 198 feet, bun. The hot dog was prepared by Shizuoka meat producers for the All Japan Bread Association, which baked the bun and coordinated really like the event, including official measurement for the world record. The hot dog and bun were the center of a media event in celebration of the association's 50th anniversary on August 4, 2006, at the Akasaka Prince Hotel in Tokyo. The National Hot Dog and Sausage Council NHDSC, hmm. is an American trade association that promotes the hot dog and sausage industry. It was founded in 1994 by the American Meat Institute. It is headquartered in Washington, D.C. Tyler Field is the current president. The council promotes July as National Hot Dog Month and National Hot Dog Day which falls on the third Wednesday in July. The 2022 National Hot Dog Day is Wednesday, July 20th. Similarly, again. it promotes October as National Sausage. Hot dog days are informal events that are celebrated in communities throughout the hot dog eating world, including the United States, Canada, and Australia. The earliest known hot dog day was held in Alfred, New York in 1972. As the name suggests, the festivals revolve around eating hot dogs, but usually there are many other activities such as wiener dog races, root beer chugging contests, and face painting. Often the proceeds from a hot dog day are given to charity. Industry groups, such as National Hot Dog and Sausage Council in the U.S., encourage, sponsor, and support some of the events. The council designates July as National Hot Dog Month. National Hot Dog Day varies year to year. It annually falls on the third Wednesday of July, which in 2024 is July 17th. The council also gives advice on hot dog eating etiquette, which aren't considered strict, as most hot dog day style events do not adhere to them. Citation needed. 
In New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the Texas Hot Dog, Texas Chili Dog, Texas Hot, or Texas Wiener is a hot dog with chili or hot sauce. It is served in variations with assorted condiments. The Texas Wiener was created in Patterson, New Jersey, before 1920 and in Altoona, Pennsylvania, by Peter George Kuthau Jorgis in 1918 and originally called Texas Hot Wieners. The Texas reference is to the chili sauce used on the dogs. It is considered a unique regional hot dog style, partly because in addition to the chili or hot sauce, the hot dog itself is always deep fried. From its origins, the invention spread to the Pennsylvania cities of Scranton and Philadelphia. By the 1920s, it had reached western New York, where numerous long-standing hot dog stands still remain, including a stand run by the Rigas family, dating to 1921, and Tents Hot Dogs, which opened in 1927. The Texas Tommy is an American hot dog dish in which a hot dog is prepared with bacon and cheese. I think you're supposed to get Despite here the name, big and then you have a mushroom in to Pottstown, do this part with. Pennsylvania, in the 1950s. It may be cooked by various methods, such That's as terrible. cooling and deep frying. I might as well just skip the, the subworld. The Texas Tommy is a common dish in Philadelphia, the Delaware Valley, and South Jersey. And it is a menu item at various restaurants and hot dog restaurants in the United States. The Texas Tommy was invented in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, in the 1950s and was a popular dish among 1950s housewives. The origin of the dish's name is unclear, and it has been suggested that its name may have been devised for the general branding of hot dogs as Texan on the East Coast. The Texas Tommy is prepared by slicing a hot dog lengthwise to split it, cheese is placed within the slit, and the hot dog is then wrapped in bacon, secured with toothpicks, and cooked and served on a warm or toasted bun. Cheddar cheese or American cheese may be used, and some versions are prepared using cheese whisk. In the 1950s, Velveeta was sometimes used in the preparation. Some versions are prepared by topping a hot dog with bacon and cheese. It may be cooked by barbecuing, grill. The Texas Tommy is a common dish at diners and greasy spoons in Philadelphia, eastern Pennsylvania, and southern New Jersey. The dish's availability is widespread at restaurants in Philadelphia, and some cheese restaurants in Philadelphia also offer the dish. Little Pete's Restaurant, located in the Center City District of Philadelphia, was well known for serving the dish. The Texas Tommy has been served at baseball games at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, and in 2012, the dish. A Danger Dog is a hot dog that has been wrapped in bacon and deep fried. It is served on a hot dog bun with various toppings. Also known as a bacon wrapped hot dog, it was first sold by street vendors in Mexico. Its origin has been placed in either Tijuana or Hermosillo, where it was originally served in a bolillo instead of a hot dog bun. These dogs are sold from carts that are ubiquitous along Avenida Revolución and the area surrounding the border in Tijuana, as well as the bar distri. Toad in the hole is a traditional English dish consisting of sausages and Yorkshire pudding batter, usually served with onion gravy and vegetables. Historically, the dish has also been prepared using other meats, such as rump steak and lamb's kidney. In the 21st century, vegetarian and vegan versions have appeared. Hot dog, perrito caliente, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, cacho canche, hot dog, 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 hot by definition, a sandwich requires two separate, but similar forms of matter to encompass a third piece of matter in between them, for example, being sandwiched between two other people in a queue, or a car crash involving three vehicles where one is sandwiched between the other two. With this, we can conclude that a hot dog is not a sandwich as the bun is a single piece of matter split in the middle to allow the dog to rest on top. If anything, hot dogs would be closer to sushi than a sandwich cheer 100. In the United States, sliced or grated cheese, such as cheddar or American cheese, is commonly used, often served melted on the hot dogs. The use of other types of cheese also occurs, such as cream cheese and Swiss cheese. The cheese may be on the bun, on the wiener, processed inside the hot dog, or placed in the middle of a hot dog that has been sliced in half. The Dodger Dog is a hot dog named after the Major League Baseball franchise that sells them, the Los Angeles Dodgers. It is a 10-inch pork wiener wrapped in a steam bun. 
The hot dog is sold at Dodger Stadium located in Los Angeles, California. Okay. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, the projected number of 2011 season hot dogs sold at Dodger Stadium was 2 million, establishing Dodger Dogs as the leader in hot dog sales of all those sold in Major League Baseball ballparks. The final boss. There are two lines 0.1%. for Dodger Dog vendors, steamed or grilled. The vendors of the grilled dogs are typically located near the back wall of the stadium, so that the smoke does not blow into the seating areas and overwhelm the baseball fans. The grilled dogs are considered the classic version. Until 2021, they were known as Farmer John Dodger Dogs. Starting with the 2021 MLB Los Angeles Dodgers season, the iconic Dodger dog is being hmm, supplied to Dodger that. Stadium by Vernon California Bar. The Polish boy is a sausage sandwich native to Cleveland, Ohio. It consists of a length of kielbasa sausage placed in a bun, and covered with a layer of French fries, a layer of barbecue sauce and a layer of coleslaw. While the sausage is typically grilled, some establishments will quickly deep fry the sausage after grilling and prior to assembling the sandwich. While Polish boys can be found at various establishments throughout Cleveland, a popular place was Freddy's Southern Style Rib House, known for their Southern Style Barbecue Sauce. Esquire named theirs as one of the best sandwiches in America, calling it Soul on White. Chef Michael Simon cited the Polish anyway. boy as the best thing I ever ate on the Food Network where he featured Seti's Polish boys on the show. Seti's version had an optional chili and cheese add-on. A Chicago style hot dog, Chicago dog, or Chicago red hot is an all beef frankfurter on a poppy seed bun, originating from the city of Chicago, Illinois. The hot dog is topped with yellow mustard, chopped white onions, bright green sweet pickle relish, a dill pickle spear, tomato slices or wedges, pickled sport peppers, a variety of capsicum annuum, and a dash of celery salt. The complete assembly of a Chicago hot dog is said to be dragged through the garden due to the many toppings. 
I use two pieces of bread Where for my hot dogs. Therefore, hot dogs are a sandwich. Take that losers. One 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 the canonical recipe does not include ketchup, and there is a widely shared, strong opinion among many Chicagoans and aficionados that ketchup is unacceptable. A number of Chicago hot dog vendors do not offer ketchup as a condiment. The hot dog arrived in Chicago through Frankfurt from Vienna. Pork sausages have been known in Frankfurt since the 13th century. Sometime in the 19th century a butcher in Vienna added beef to the sausage mixture. He called this a wiener frankfurter. Eventually reaching Chicago, Frank's served in buns became popular at fairs and baseball games. Reportedly the pork-free and kosher style all beef Frank was originated by Fukies in 1929. During the Great Depression they were sold for an Ica. The Chicago area has more hot dog restaurants than McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King restaurants combined. A hot dog stand in Chicago may serve many other items, including the Maxwell Street Polish, gyros, pork chop and Italian beef sandwiches, corn dogs, tamales, pizza puffs and Italian ice. The restaurants often have unique names or architectural features. Popular and historic vendors, Floofies, Jean and Jude's, Hot Dogs, Closed, Portillo's, Super Dog, Red Hot. A corn dog, also spelled corn dog and also known by several other names, is a sausage, usually a wiener, on a stick that has been coated in a thick layer of cornmeal batter and deep fried. It originated in the United States and is commonly found in American cuisine. While the name corn dog is used in the United States and Canada, there are regional variations of the food's name. Citation needed, in Quebec, Canada, there is a popular local brand produced by ConAgra called Pogo. In Australia, where they have become a popular food at agricultural shows and carnivals, they are known as either Pluto Pups, Dagwa Dogs, Dippy Dogs or, historically, Pronto Pups. The name Pluto Pup likely derives from the Disney character Pluto, who is a dog. Dagwood Dog is derived from the name of a character from the American comic strip Blondie, which was created in 1930. In the comic strip, Dagwood, Blondie's husband, has a dog named Daisy. Historically, the name Prond. In France, the term beignet de saucisse is used, which literally translates to sausage donut. In Japanese, the most common name for them is American Dog, American Doku, American Doku. In Korean, they are referred to as Hasdoju, Hadoku, which literally translates to hot dog. This has caused some confusion, however, especially for English speakers. Citation needed, in Mexico, the name Venderia is used, which literally translates to small flag. Citation okay, needed. Okay, there we go. Newly arrived German immigrants in Texas, who were sausage makers finding resistance to the sausages they Nine used to make, have been credited with introducing the corn dog to the United States, though the serving stick came later. A U.S. patent filed in 1927, granted in 1929, for a combined dipping, cooking, and article holding apparatus, describes corn dogs, among other fried food impaled on a stick, it reads in part. I have discovered that articles of food such, for instance, as wieners, boiled ham, hard-boiled eggs, cheese, sliced peaches, pineapples, bananas and like fruit, and cherries, dates, figs, strawberries, etc., when impaled on sticks and dipped in batter, which includes in its ingredients a self-rising flour, and then deep-fried in a vegetable oil at a temperature of about 390 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius, the resultant food product on a stick for a handle is a clean, wholesome and We have a winner for the bet, guys. We have a winner for the bet. A crusty corn dog baker machine appeared in the 1926 Albert Pickbarth Wholesale Catalog of Hotel and Magic Restaurant Cuba. Supplies. 
The corn dogs were baked in a corn batter and resembled ears of corn when cooked. A number of current corn dog vendors claim responsibility for the invention and/or popularization of the corn dog. Carl and Neil Fletcher lay such a claim, having here. introduced their no. corny dogs at the State Fair of Texas sometime between 1938 and 1942. Prado Papa Beach, or Corn dogs are often served as street food or as fast food. For the best and freshest preparation, some vendors or restaurateurs dip and fry their corn dogs just before serving. Some corn dog purveyors sell pre-made frozen corn dogs, which are then thawed and fried again, or browned in an oven. Corn dogs can also be found at almost any supermarket and convenience store store in North America as frozen foods as well as served hot and ready to eat. Pre-made frozen corn dogs can also be here. National Corn Dog Day is a celebration concerning basketball, mm. the corn dog. A corn dog is usually a hot dog sausage coated in a thick layer of cornmeal batter, tater tots, and American beer that occurs in March of every year on the first Saturday of the NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship. <laughs> National Corn Dog Day was inaugurated in 1992 in Corvallis, Oregon by Brady Sonow and Henry Otley. The first celebration was informal and involved only corn dogs and basketball. In subsequent years, National Corn Dog right, Day was expanded to first. include tater tots and beer and gradually spread to other cities. A the celebration bar, currently is sponsored by Foster a Farms, a Livingston, California based poultry producer, PBR, a U.S. Midwest based beer company, Fire and Jones Soda. Operations for National Corn Dog Day. The same general food safety guidelines apply to hot dogs as to all perishable products, keep hot food hot and cold food cold. When you leave the grocery store with hot dogs, head straight home and refrigerate or freeze them immediately. Record 19, that's correct. If there is no product date, hot dogs can be safely stored in the unopened package for two weeks in the refrigerator, once opened, only one week. <sighs> for maximum quality, freeze hot dogs no longer than one or two months. And, of course, never leave hot dogs at room. Fuck. Your. Sandwiches. And fuck you chat. Where are we? I gotta thank a lot of people. Pigs in a blanket in the United States is a small hot dog or other sausage wrapped in pastry similar to a sausage roll in the UK. It is commonly served oh, as an we'll appetizer in the United States. The similarity in name with that of the UK dish pigs in blankets, which is a sausage wrapped in bacon, sometimes causes confusion. In New York City, the natural casing all beef hot dogs served at Katz's Delicatessen, Gray's Papaya, Papaya King. Papaya Dog and any Sabret Card are all made by Sabret's parent company, Marathon Enterprises Yuma. Incorporated. Nathan's Hot Dogs, which are all beef and come in both natural casing and skinless, were also made by Marathon until several years ago when local kosher brands, which are not permitted natural casings, include Hebrew National, Empire National. The usual condiments are mustard. GLTBH on FRFR no cap giant Minecraft Riz in Ohio Big Chungus Boy Rizzled Baby Gronk with a grin of shake Nathaniel B in Ohio with Big okay. Chungus Now Ski BD Toilet Baby Gronk me and my fellow therapist crewmates think him the bus in Ohio imposter Giant in Ohio with the yeet qua Don't you touch my spaghetti and I have the power of God and anime on my side You baka with Markiplier recessi I know one true baby Gronk shoe at everyone so in Ohio, senpai, the Sussy Bois and the Amogus. Imposter Land, Italian imposter be like imposter boy, sheesh. Now watch me whip a nay nay cuz 9 plus 10 equals 21 quick maths could be lame boy. Ready. The council has decided your fate with the undertale bus and bus and memes on God respectfully no cap. The Ohio and skeevy D toilet from the potato gang, I have crippling depression Mr. Beast. Hello darkness my old friend. Ray you touch and my spaghetti eat. Logan Paul eating the sussy Tide Pods, no boy. Big Chungus was in Area 51 with the Hot Dog, hey. Butler Song, released by Owens Recording as Corky Jones, 1956, covered by Shake and Stevens, 1980. Hot Dog, by the Archies from Everything's Archie, 1969. Hot Dog, by Elvis Presley from the Loving You film soundtrack, 1957. 
Hot Dog by Eugene from Mumalama, 1992. Hot Dog by Led Zeppelin from and Through the Outdoor, 1979. Hot Dog by Limp Bizkit from Chocolate Starfish in the Hot Dog Flavored Water, 2000. Hot Dog by LMFAO from Sorry for Party Rocking, 2011. Egg, 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 egg. Hot dogging, when a male rubs his penis between another male or female's butt cheeks without penetrating the anus. These cocktail weenies are super easy to make in a slow cooker with only three ingredients for a crowd-pleasing treat. I was a little unsure at first about the grape jelly concoction, but now I won't do it any other way. It is so savory with just enough sweetness. I make this for potlucks, backyard BBQs, or any get-together, and it is always a hit. Ingredients 1 cup barbecue sauce 3 quarters cup grape jelly 2, 16 ounce, packages cocktail sausages, such as Little Smokies, directions mix barbecue sauce and grape jelly in a slow cooker, add cocktail sausages and stir until well coated, cover and cook on low for 2 to 3 hours. Pause club. Pause. 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 You still want to time out even if you get them all cleanly? Pause. 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 Hot Dog is an HTML editor developed by Sausage Software in the mid-1990s. At the time of its development, there were only a small number of HTML Tough editors one. available on the market, such as Hot Metal, and Hot Dog gathered significant interest due to its ease of use. The program was developed by the New Zealand internet entrepreneur Steve Outram. In 2000, the ownership of the product was sold from Sausage Software and, despite still being called Sausage Software, is now run by a company on Rella. Sausage Software was an Australian software company, founded by entrepreneur Steve Altram, which produced one of the world's most successful web editors, the Hot Dog Web Authoring Tool. The product and company name have since been purchased by an Australian hmm. consulting firm, SMS Management and Technology. Hot Dog and the company became the dot com darling of the Australian media, receiving a large amount of media exposure due to the young age of the company's founder and staff, featuring Pinball. A hot dog bun is a type of soft bun shaped specifically to contain a hot dog or another type of sausage. The side loading bun is common in most of the United States, while the top loading New England style hot dog bun is popular in that region. Other regional variations include the addition of poppy seeds to the buns of Chicago style hot dogs. Hot dog historian and professor emeritus at Roosevelt University Bruce Craig believes the term hot dog was invented in the late 19th century by American observers of German immigrants, who ate sausages on buns. The Americans joked that the sausages looked suspiciously like the German dogs hunts. Charles Feldman invented an elongated hot dog bun on Coney Island in 1871 according to writer Jeffrey Stanton. 
According to an obituary of Austrian immigrant baker Ignaz Frischmann published in 1904, the Vienna roll supplied to Coney Island hot dog vendors was invented by Frischmann and made him a rich man sometime before his death. At the 1904 Louisiana Purchase Exposition, in St. Louis, Missouri, a German concessionaire, Antoine Feuchtwanger, served hot sausages called Frankfurters, after his birthplace, Frankfurt, in Hesse. At first he loaned gloves for his customers to hold his sausages. W. Split top hot dog buns are popular in New England for lobster rolls and clam sandwiches. In Chicago, Illinois, where poppy seed buns are popularly served with Chicago-style hot dogs, the buns are made with high-gluten flour to hold up to steaming. In Austria, Poland, and throughout Central Europe a hot dog is a baguette which is hollowed out by cutting off the end and impaling it on a spike so a sausage can be inserted. In Denmark this variation is known as the French hot dog because of This concludes Hot Dog Club. The flare-up of highly pathogenic bird flu continues to widen in U.S. livestock after federal officials confirmed last week that the virus has spread to U.S. cows for the first time. The virus has now been detected in dairy cows in at least five states, a single person in Texas exposed to infected cows, and an egg farm in Texas, all spurring yet more intense monitoring and biosecurity vigilance as the situation continues to evolve. Oh Uni 100. What are fajitas Texas? Typically, fajitas are made with a single main ingredient, either beef, chicken, or shrimp. Fajitas Texanas, also called Texas fajitas, are made with all three main ingredients. They are often found on the menu at Mexican restaurants in the U.S. I like to serve fajitas with salsa or pico de gallo, cilantro, lettuce, shredded cheese, and sour cream. You can make these fajitas Texanas with leftover cooked chicken or beef, just slice into strips. Sausage Club. Sausage. 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 Sausage dot 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 sausage. Now that Hot Dog Club oh my God, is over, HK play. it's What's time up? for Buns Club. Everyone shake your buns. Our PLS, 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 our PLS. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Anyone else jacking off to this? Just a little bit too far. It's pretty close. I was like a pixel bucket, from getting that too. Suck it, bucket, 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 suck it. Bucket, suck it, 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 bucket. Am I gonna download this one to play after the servers go offline? No. It's more pixel perfect than others, yes. This level becomes progressively more difficult.
Hi, Ori, it's me, your only viewer. Oh, yeah. For months, I have created the illusion that you are streaming to a large audience. But here's the truth all these people in the chat are me. And now, for you to be convinced of this, I will send this message from all my accounts Silence Club. me, Sir Howard Cat. For months I have created the illusion that you are streaming to a large audience. But here's the truth, all these people in the chat are me. And now, for you to be convinced of this, I will post Orange Cat from all of my accounts.
fucking go. Holy shit. What a level. Cave of Trials by Cool Dolly. First trial, just know that there's no ground. Hold right. Got it. Supposed to be big there? Alright, we just have to go as soon as we get over there. I hit my head on the ceiling. That's annoying. Make 
these jumps while big? I don't know if you can. Let's just take damage. surviving? What the hell was that? Chill here and see. I don't know at all what I have to do. Okay, there's the P switch. I need to wait until that comes over there. I'd love to keep my mushroom. Just chill here. Let's just sit here and wait. I don't know if the piece which is gonna spawn though. That's the problem. I wanna sit here and wait until like 422 and then jump out and see if I can see it. Our fat bust infinite nut. For me to kill Bowser that I didn't see? 
Or was there a hidden key somewhere? Yeah, I guess we're gonna do pet picks, guys, because I'm not gonna lose my checkpoint right now. I'll mute this. Alright guys, you know the drill. If you are in the Discord, go into the pet pick section, post a picture of your pet, and your pet will make an appearance on stream. Make sure there's nothing else in the picture that is, you know, personal information or nudity or anything like that, okay? I mean, I get to, I'm going to see the pictures anyways and kind of vet them before I put them on the stream, but... All right, here's our first one from M Maker. Hang on. Uh... It's a web P file. No, this is not what I want. Um, all right, here we go. Why? Why? I don't understand why these are coming out like absolutely gigantic. They used to come out at normal sizes. I'm not doing anything differently. Hang on, I have an idea. Let me try something else. There's the cat. Oh my God, it's M Maker's cat. Just sitting on the tile, looking at something. Amazing. All right, number two. Not mine, but he's bald. No, I'm not posting that. Uh, Joko's Jed. Let me try this. Why does it? <sighs> I don't understand why this. Whatever, man. Whatever. <sighs> That's annoying. Is there a way to just like make it smaller? There it is. It's another gigantic picture. What's it going to be? Uh, oh, it's a dog. There it is. It's a dog. Yay. Just chilling there. Excellent. You know what? I can do it this way. Um, who just raided me? Fail stream. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you guys are doing all right. Hope the stream went well. Fail stream. If you're just coming in, we are soft locked in a level, waiting for the timer to run out. We have uh, Obama Chan. I don't know who that is in Twitch chat, but. We're just checking out some pet pics, but yeah, if you guys do not know failed stream, please go follow him. He's a good dude. One of the guests, the best cape players. Um, of all time in Mario Maker. Uh, let's Let's go uh, image, Wait, hang on, let me do this. Let's 
this pictures are gigantic. There you go, there's this Obama Chan's pet. Wonderful. Alright, one more guys, one more. Uh Here's blue green Mikey. does this this is stupid all right there's blue green mikey's dog wow four phenomenal looking pets right there guys incredible honestly it looks like one and three and two and four could be related um all right so that is it for thanks for picks. posting my doggo his name is link and he enjoys all the TTS spam as much as anyone, especially the R's. Wonderful. All right. Uh, well, say goodbye to all the pets. Maybe if we get soft locked again, we'll. Bring them back. There we go. Um, let me thank some people real quick. Blue Green Mikey, thank you for the 100 bits. Elevator Fred, thank you for the six months. Uh, Ida Kito, thank you for the sub. Welcome aboard. Uh, Dragon Wolf, thank you for the seven months. Mechus, thank you for the 27 months. Phosphorescent, thank you for converting to a tier one sub. Sayoria, Raise Freezer, Raise Freezer, Raise Freezer, M Maker, Not High. Raise Freezer, Man Don't Brag. Jimmy RPH, M Maker, Rocky M Maker. Rocky is watching right now and is howling at the snub. M maker, M maker, M maker, M maker, M maker, M maker, raise freezer, M maker, M maker, M maker, raise freezer, M maker, fresh prince, fresh prince, M maker, M maker, Sonic eighty six, M maker, 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 raise freezer, fresh prince, M maker, fresh prince, M maker, fresh prince, M maker, fresh prince, fresh prince, M maker, M maker, M maker, comfortably lost, Jimmy RPH, M maker, 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 raise freezer, M maker, M maker, raise freezer, pink, uh, no, fresh prince, M maker, M maker, M maker, please show Hannah Mark's cat, fresh prince, she was right after Mikey, I will make it my life's mission. You beautiful bald man. Uh, M maker, M maker, M maker, raise freezer, M maker, M maker, M maker, M maker, D Rocky, raise freezer, M maker, M maker, raise freezer, M maker, thank you for the 100 bits, 33 at Blackstone, thank you for the 26 months, random user, I already said that, I think. Yeah, I said these, okay, we're caught up. All right, let's turn on the game audio. <laughs> All right, we are back doing this stupid. Uh -oh. And we have to find a key. It's. I'm assuming we have to kill Bowser somehow, but I'm not 100% sure how yet. Because I don't think there was a power up. Maybe there's a power up somewhere. Seems like a straightforward level, does not really seem like a troll level. Yeah, okay. It's not bad. I always jump over that. It's been a while since I have subbed, but I thought resubbing on your birthday seemed appropriate. Cheers to another year. Thank you. Not 
not my birthday though. Was there a key in one of these? I don't think so, was there? Is there a key down here? Kill Bowser, then. I mean, I'm not really sure what it is. Let's just wait until like about 400 seconds. It should be. P switch should be ready to go. These fire a boo and a boo ring down here, so. Let's go and see state in the final four. Retro main. Thank you for the 100 bits. Tough to beat Purdue. Don't understand though. How do I beat Bowser here? Is there another thing that comes on the track? A star, that would be nice. We go down this pipe, we're soft locked again, then some more pet picks. There's gotta be like a hidden star or some bullshit. Supposed to do this. Sup. So I'm wondering if it's just like some random hidden key somewhere. Uh, it would, it would probably be after the checkpoint, though, you know. Let's see if we go back. Back. Let me see. Oh, this. Okay. Right. Hypothetically, there could be one here, but you can't go f too far back, right? So that if there's a hidden key, it has to be somewhere in this later portion of the level. Actually, could be in a, a box underneath a burner. But I think you're usually able to see that. So there's like a slight yellow tint, so I don't think it is. Anything over here? Maybe killing this guy. I never kill this mole, but. Highly doubt it would be in the middle of a spike section. Oops. Okay. 
anything there. Spike maze, I guess. Oh, whoops, my thing ran out. Hmm. What else could it possibly be? Wait, I don't think there's any. Power-ups in the Bowser section that I've seen, other than a hidden block in the Bowser section, which is probably most likely. That's not good. This is horrible. Possible to reach Bowser with star power? No. down immediately and see I don't see anything this sucks I mean the only thing I'm thinking of is I was small when I got down that pipe before maybe if I'm big I can jump and hit a block that's a little bit higher Super tight kill against Bowser with the star, and no, uh, I don't think so. The star will, you could maybe make it to the door with the star, but it should run out in the, while you're transitioning in between rooms. Not only that, you have to get halfway across the room just to touch him. Doesn't make sense. As fast as I can, ignore the mushroom, but I don't think it's happening. I guess it could be a stacked pipe. Uh, there's a 
spring there. I don't think you can get back. I mean, was there anything, any way I could... I could do after the pipe. I mean, I just jumped around all, all over the place after the pipe. jumped over there yet? Piece of shit. We're in business, guys. We're in business. This is a hot dog moment. Almost just jumped. Uh, fucking annoying.
Wait, I didn't get it. I don't have anyone up to there and stuff. by Papito. What does that mean? Fuck you, goddammit. This is really annoying. I wonder if I can just jump from the top Koopa to the top Koopa. Our shot to our heart. Maybe I just aim for right under the bottom Koopa and land on the platform and go. Not sure exactly where the platform is, but it should be somewhere down there. That was a little bit better jump, I think. Oh, 
Okay, what a level. Underground Fortress. ground right below that, below that wall up there. out here. Oh, my God. 
Come on, Kevin, help me out. There you go. Oh, no. Where am I going? Strange. For my okay. birthday this year, I asked myself for a sub to the baldest streamer on Twitch. Right. Happy birthday, me. And happy birthday, Aura. Not my birthday. And fuck you, chat. <clears throat> Alright, we made it to the final boss. F. T. A. Y. Uh oh. to jump. It looks like not a speed run at least. Not TA, that's for sure. No, why did I do this? Alright, I would like to have a spike helmet, please. Why is there a block there? Oh, 
What? So dumb on pushing jump, man. I guess just forget about the spring. Uh, oh, damn it, the stupid beginning. of a level. God damn it, dude. So annoying. second time immediately holy shit he, it immediately fires it's so stupid man why oh my god so frustrating Actually, you might be able to get this. Remember this trick? Alright, we have to look out for the block over here. Right? Is there any way I could... Maybe try to keep the helmet at least? Oh no, it doesn't matter. You have to damage boost anyway, right? What? Oh my god. This is so awful. Oh, no. 
that bait? I think that's bait, or a 1-up. Is there any chance it's anything? to do. We got six, six lives to do it. Please win the streak, please. Well, to relieve this stress it looks like I need to throw my hands up and gyrate the hips in a circular fashion. Oh yeah. I am so jiggling right now. App. So. Loot. Lee. Shaw. So very much jiggling. Please, Aura, join us for a little jiggle? Hmm? Please jiggling. Oh, <laughs> 
Man, come on. You gotta be shitting me. I don't even know they can get me there. Bring a second helmet. Would that even help? I guess it would help at the end. Or just go under those things. Okay. What now? I forget what this was, honestly. This was all pretty easy, right? Yeah, I think so. This was not easy. Hyrule, will you make one last YouTube exclusive super expert before Mario Maker 1 is gone? I would be eternally thankful our love. Let's reset this. <clears throat> I don't really like how this is going. get a helmet but I also love it to I don't mind it going uh, out to the side again I don't want to just like go in there and suddenly it's like bounces and hits me is there any kind of rhyme or reason to this is it eventually gonna bounce out to the right I think I should go and try to go in there. Oh my fucking god, dude. Let's go. Oh, come on. I need you to hit this. Damn it. So this this I need you to come out here. What the? It's stuck again, I think. Unless there's like a hidden piece switch or something? Let's look around a little bit. This is such a weird ending. Just get out of here. Just come up through the thing. Come on. Oh my god, dude. What if we don't get this in 260 seconds? It went through like right after I got my helmet. I do not want to have to do all this level again, man. Come on. Come on. 
I just get just give me it. Just give it to me. Just give it to me. Come on. I can't believe this. It was over there, wasn't it? It's over there. Princess. That was some legends of the hidden temple type shit. I wonder if there was some kind of hidden P switch. Joko's Jed, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Really appreciate it. Throw some hype in there for Joko's Jed. Welcome back. Welcome aboard if, you're, if you just got a gift sub. Thank you very much. Uh, Joko's Jed. And uh, Mr. Yeti, thank Ten. you for the 80 months. Fresh Prince, thank you for the 100 bits. Vigilator, thank you for the 8 months. JMR Splat, thank you for the 100 bits. Mr. White, thank you for the 18 months. Opalo, thank you for the 46 months and happy birthday. Hope you have a great birthday. Jugular Rain, thank you for the 56 months. M Maker, thank you for the 100 bits. All right. Do we have a winner for the bet, guys? Do we have a winner for the bet? Burner was the winner? It was Burner? Okay. Burner it is. Should we do another run, guys? Uh, where did I put the thing? The stylus. All right, guys, um, let's do...
We're gonna do a battle. That was so hype, I lost it. A battle of the blocks. King SPL, thank you for the four months. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, King SPL. Yeah, that was a fun run. How will we see a hidden block? I have to hit it in order for it to count. Here we go. Jank Drew's idiot castle. Oh god, is this a stupid troll level? It sounds like a troll level. It sure is a troll level. Good. No? Oh. Great. one first. Just go on the pipe, I think. At least for these kind of levels, you have a hundred lives. So if you get one of them, you can kind of make your way through it. Endless mode. You get one of these levels, you're basically dead. You know, doing one of these in like 30 plus in 30 lives is. And there are so many more of these in Mario Maker 2 because of, you know, Carl. Essentially.
This looks like a somewhat okay troll level. No, it's not. It's fucking horrible. Carl playing this one. Also GG's last one. Also what was your streak PB? Also also. Jiglin. Streak PB is 19. there but I think that might be a bit Hello Mr. Turn Chad. I hope your night is going well. I also hope you enjoy your vacation. I am happy you found someone. May all your hopes and dreams come true. Our love hey love. Thanks. Are these coins not actually optional? <laughs> They're not, who knows? I guess we gotta hurry through here.
Don't pow. Uh, okay. Right. So we don't hit the pow. We just throw the thing under. But I'm trapped. What? What does it want from me? Is this hinting at something, I think? Understand the hints, I guess.
just leave this here and think about this one. What did it want me to do? Maybe this? No, not that. Not throw it in the gap. I don't get it. Trolls and SM1 easier? I mean, I wouldn't say it's easier, it's just trolls had less tools to work with, especially like covering half the screen with lava so you have no idea what's down there. Custom scroll to where you can hide things above and below the screen, things like that. Death, right? That's super bait. Um, okay, so that explodes that. But if I explode it, I'm going to die. And it seems as though that is going to cover the door so that I can't get through. I die when that happens, so I guess I have to then wait for the other thing to happen, then jump on it. But I don't know how I'm gonna get through the door after that. Doesn't matter whether you are a boy or a girl. It's time for Plank Club members to plank curl. Do the plank, plank, plank. Do the plank, plank, plank. Do the plank, plank, plank. Cheer 100.
I feel like I'm gonna beat this boss and it's gonna just kill me anyways. I'm gonna have to let it hit the... I don't believe this is where I want to be going though. The shells can go over. Does it send me back to checkpoint one every time? I 
I guess so. That's quite annoying. All this stuff is not that difficult to do once you know what you're doing. It's just tedious as hell. Why, why are you making me do this every time after the checkpoint? Like, if I fail your stupid troll setup, I have to go do thing every time. Atrocious, man. I don't need a help, jQuery. If I need your help, I'll ask for it. gonna give you 100,000 seconds timeout but I'm never going to play any of your levels ever again. You have consistently shown me that you're unable to make better levels. They're awful. You're just skilled enough to make them like difficult and not cheesable, but the skill in your level design is so small. Consistently just awful awkward unpleasant experiences that turn into grinds. It's unbelievable. It's like you never learn. I'm done. Can you do a clip jump in this? Isn't there a way to like clip jump here? Making the jump. I don't know how I can just make the jump. I guess I'm trapped. Maybe there's something in the other box that I need. Who knows? I swear there's a jump that you can do like this. You might need to be small though. whether this is possible.
Hello Aura and Chat this is the governor of Alabama, Alabama. I regret to inform you that our scientists have gone extinct. One of the Alabama beach mice accidentally put him in the microwave since he thought it was Jimmy Chunka. Our bad. We have sent Aura a statue of the beloved scientist to put on his front lawn to commemorate his life. We know Aura loves the scientist as much as the Alabama beach mouse. We hope to see the scientist prominently displayed on his front lawn. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I have no clue. I guess we're going back to checkpoint one. Very cool. What a fun level. Wait, why are we not back at checkpoint one right here? Spring. That would be helpful. sure what it wants of me here. Okay, so hit that so it keeps going. Come over here, go like this. Go up here, although we, something else might happen where we die. <sighs> Do I need the mushroom? I don't know how it didn't. Is that the, is that what it is? Is it the mushroom? I didn't push jump there.
But this time it works and I'm big, right? So what's the deal? here again? I don't even remember. Right, okay, so I have to do this. Do that. Grab that. One, two. Okay. is behind there, I believe. Or no, is it underneath the... So yeah, just about 30 lives, that's about right. Just do this. Uh, spinning is probably easier. Pacetic by Porpa. Is this another troll level? Was correct. I think all of that was correct. I just 
have to hit off of it right there. I don't understand, like, why, why? What, like... It makes no sense. Try to kill this Lakitu because I think this is a huge problem. Okay, what went wrong there? I don't know. Koopa didn't seem like it was sticking with me, really. I'm 
No, what? I need the shell here. Or I need to take damage. Can I please take damage? Thank you. So fucking annoying. I'm not sure why the shell is not sticking with me, or am I just being impatient? Stand here, right? How's the shell gonna get up there? No, I need the shell to get up there. The, the shell being at the bottom there, it's just gonna go off a cliff. I need to stop it there, and then it's going to bounce up here and go over here, and then I need to do this. SNP. Probably just spin back as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning, Mr. Streamer. Early conference call. Good morning. All right, pretty close. Pretty close to timing out there. Level five. Or a GG. for a checkpoint. Level 6. Kaizo Mario Maker by Julian. Kidding 
I get up there. Supposed to get these mushrooms, so we have to go with the bats. Seven hundred seventy-seven seven hundred seventy-seven trillion seven hundred seventy-seven billion seven hundred seventy-seven million seven hundred seventy-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven. Seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven billion seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven billion seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven Seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven billion seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven. Seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven billion seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven. Seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven. Seven hundred seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred seventy seven trillion seven hundred seventy seven billion seven hundred seventy seven million. Seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven. This is what I'm talking about. through it after that first horrible troll level, thankfully. Oh, 
All right, guys. Um, let's do a crossword. That's it for Mario Maker today. Tomorrow we'll do... Tomorrow I'll just go until my streak ends. You know, we'll see. I'm just going to go until my streak ends. Because after that, tomorrow's going to be the last day of Mario Maker. I'm going out of town. Co-op cancelled. Well, it just depends when the streak ends. If the streak ends soon, then we'll play co-op. Yeah. Can I make my own 100 man Mario in SMM2? Afraid not. Afraid not. I mean, I guess like you could play it as 100 Mario. You could just say like, I'm going to count the lives. <laughs> and then, I don't know. It's too much math and lives and shit like that. If you lose 30 lives and you go play it outside the run and continue it. See how many more lives you lose, continually count them, and then go back into the run if you beat it in under 100 lives. Will I build another level in SMM1? No, you can't upload levels in this game anymore, so there's no point really. Anyways. Um, okay guys. Crossword. What do we have for the crossword today? Eight, I think. Oh, oh yeah. What won the thing? Donut block. Donut block was the winner. Are we sure it wasn't a note block? I thought it was a note block. Donut block was behind something. Yeah, you can't see it, so. It's note block. All right, so what do we have for the crossword? Eight, I think. Seven? Oh, shit. Are we sure it's seven? Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm gonna have to be hyper fast for this one. Place your bets, guys, place your bets. You are a Hearthstone talent scout. Will I play it now? No, I will not play it right now. We're going to play Final Fantasy. A lot of doubters on this one. Some good odds. I'm going to try my hardest, guys. I'm going to try my hardest. No alerts during crossword puzzle. I'm, I do need to thank people. Actually, let me thank some people real quick. Uh, Deep Blood Bull, thank you for the 31 months. Monzo, thank you for the 100 bits. Kai Zudo, thank you for the 42 months. Kurt, thank you for the 100 bits. Anonymous, thank you for the gift sub to Porygon Power. Welcome aboard Porygon Power, and thank you for the gift sub to Orator 2. Welcome aboard Orator 2. Two Melty, thank you for the 100 bits. Molten, thank you for the gift sub to Plink. Welcome aboard Plink. JQuery, thank you for the gift sub to Chat is Full of Idiots. Uh, no help needed, and sorry, my bad. Thank you very much, JQuery. Two Melty, Zero, thank you for the 100 bits. Zero, thank you for the gift sub to Neezer. Welcome back, Neezer. Thank you, Zero. Mustache Girl, thank you for the 49 months. Britches Be Tiny, thank you for the 15 months. jQuery, thank you for the 57 months. Um, okay. And Ferdy Tishy, thank you for the 17 months. Really appreciate it. We are all caught up. Let me turn alerts off now. And let's do a cross word puzzle. Alright. 
Seven minutes, gotta be super fast. What do we got here? We have beginning bird watching. Go. Scottish mu musician, maybe. Uh, loops in on an email. CCs. British nobles. Lords? Company that made breakout. Key near control. Uh, alt. Star Trek Lieutenant. Channel with a Capitol Hill HQ. C SPAN, maybe? Uh, not near. Far. 2023 prize for Anne Lewillier. Uh, Nobel, maybe? I don't know. Lowest digit. One. Uh, either that or toe, I guess. Uh, blank Gravity Wicked Song. Hun. Bay, maybe? Not 100% sure. Riding the Waves. Ride the Waves. Surf. Animated Pig, whose name sounds like a seasoning. Peppa. Turquoise and Topaz. Smart TV brand. Thin openings. Um, slots, maybe? I don't know. Shy Town Hub. O'Hare, right? Uh, probably. Aleppo's Nation. Assyria? Time of your life. It might not be Syria. Newspapers and such. Media, maybe? Valentine's symbol. Art? Drink that might contain boba. Tea? Ordinary. Plain, maybe? Uh, MP, maybe. Uh, cats actor McKellen. Ian? Uh, process that produces daughter cells. Cro-Magnon? 2D geometry calculation. Area. Basic belief. Tenant, maybe? Terrier type. Actress Salonga. Uh, Leah. Green prefix. Eco. Fancy. Ooh la la, maybe? Thanks, Amiga. Gracias? Uh, there, standing by the swimming pool on one foot. Wait, is that a... Huh? Overhang. Eve? Influencer Sway. Hairstyle you might pick. Uh, afro. Kremlin Veto. Net. Don't like it? Tough. Library Transaction. Pinky Promises, say. Uh, I think this might be Toe. Mm, we're winning this season. It's our year. Yeah, Toe. Uh, there, sitting on the craft table with the crisply folded wings. Wait, is that a paper pl plane? No. Paper crane. This is right. Uh, chapter of history. Era. Thick peel. Rind. Um, espresso drink. They're arcing through the sky with a round red figure. Wait, is that a... Magic Mike Performance, Strip Tease, uh, Breathing Organ, Long, Cry of Surprise Delight, Ooh, they are floating on the sudsy water with the orange beak, wait is that a, Long Log of a Time Out, something's wrong here by the way, Department with Quotas, 
sales. Short musical releases, uh, LPs. Or the EPs, EPs, probably. Uh, Lil Nas X, Con county event with pig races. Fair, comes and goes. So plane is wrong. Branch of Islam, Shia, 2011, ATM. Greek M's. Uh, Sunburn Soother, Aloe. Writing with a slant. Italics, repeat. Ready to go. All set. Blank butterfly. What are they called? Devour, eat. Video taker for short, cam. Unwrap. Skincare brand, Olay maybe? Possess, have. Know your rights, organization. OSHA maybe? No. That's ooh la la. Open. Down in the dumps. Along. Deets. Info. Indian city that. Uh, Agra. In a moment. Soon. Enemy. Foe. Plastic flamingo. Piper. Packed. Slots or slits, I don't know. Mitosis. Iterate. Clout. Sue me. Long. Social butterfly. Unusual. Oh, it's already too late. Uh, log of a timeout. Something's wrong here. No bell. Oh ho, maybe? Rubber. Duck. Sky Terrier, is that right? Ord Diary Gems Dream Diary Something Latte Time of Your Life Age Pigeon. Defying gravity. All right, sub nine, not bad. Clay pigeon. That was an interesting one. I like the I like that one. Pretty solid. Not sub seven, but uh, yeah, I did my best. We'll go back to eight tomorrow. All right, guys. I am going to take a little break. When I get back, we're going to continue Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Be right back. We're streamer, huh? Where?
Hello, Aura. Hello, chat. Huh? Aura? Where did he go? Where is the bald man? Where is the bald man? Uter? Buddy? Oh no. Chat no cherish bald man, bald man go away. Sag, Sag Sag. Chat no, cherries, bald man, bald man go away, Sag. Chat no cherish bald man, bald man go away. Sag, Sag Sag. Chat no, cherries, bald man, bald man go away. So Sag, chat no cherish bald man, bald man go away. Sag, Sag Sag. Chat no, cherries, bald man, bald man go away. Indeed Sag. Chat no, cherries. All right, guys, we are back. Hello, hello. Let's, uh... What was I doing? Changing my stream info. Alright guys, we're continuing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth today. We're on chapter 10, we just started chapter 10. Long ass game. I just finished playing piano, do we want to play piano again? Let's do a quick... Let's do a quick one of one of the easier songs. Let's try this one. See if after playing so much piano, I'm better at it at the easier songs now. <clears throat> it's a little too fast for me. Hang on. forgot what the song was, you know.
Fuck. Beautiful. Man, almost perfect. I could probably get perfect. I don't want to grind these right now, though. Uh, there's, I don't think there's any reward for getting perfect anyways. I love the piano game, though. It's super fun. Did a good job with that one. All right, what are we doing now? We're just uh, we just arrived in this area. This is um, Cosmo Canyon. Wait, what is this? Oh, materia, free materia. I like how we just see materia sitting here in the middle of the city, and we just think like, all right, I'll take it. I guess. Surely no one owns this. It is mine now. What are these two doing? Time we've taken a trip together. All right. <clears throat> Already beat that guy at uh, Queen's Blood. Exciting. Is Chadley around? He's right there. <clears throat> Alright, where are we going? Oh, this is... Right, we need to go up again. This way. And then this way? What's this? This is the item shop, I think? Oh, Materia Vendor. You got anything good? Yeah, I'm good. Music's pretty good. So I have to head up that way, I think. What's over here, though? Oh, this is the elevator that's broken. I'm sorry, but the elevator is currently undergoing maintenance. And this is the weapon shop. Anything new? Well, I've seen worse. Congrats. You're welcome to shop here. Did I miss these somewhere? Usually it just sells things that you miss, right? Turn your Moogle into a ticking time bomb that explodes when it leaves combat. <clears throat> Where did I miss these? What is this? Whose weapon is this? Oh, this is just a deep. This is just a bracelet. Oh, these are the bangles, right? I guess these are pretty good. to everyone. Cloud, Barret, Aerith, Red. Better watch how you wield those things now.
Hmm. Do I want to buy the other Just things so for the other people? I only sell the customers I deem worthy. Should we give this one to Yuffie and Tifa? I feel like Tifa should have this. She's more likely to be in physical combat. Do I have anything that I'm not using? Shut up, lady. goes down by a lot. Should really sell some of this crap. Well, I've seen worse. Congrats. You're welcome to shop here. The vendor voice some Skyrim characters. Better watch how you Only two and three? Oh god. Build those things now. Can I upgrade them? Hmm, I can. It takes a lot of hides though. This is the thing that I can make now. Immunity to instant death, immunity to stone and petrify, that's not bad. Oh, I can make this. Damn, it takes a lot of zinc to make this. I guess it, it levels up. Kate Sith? Removes toad related curses. Giga Potion, 3,000 HP. Oh. All right. All right, um, what do I want to do? I think we just... What was I gonna do? Uh, I don't know, whatever. Let's go. I think we're going up here. I'm 
Any more Queen's Blood in this area? Oh, this guy. Kadina. Look for Kadina. Is Kadina up here? Uh oh. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but... This is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that'll do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then, we can see the sights. Alright, um, we could play some Queen's Blood. Learn What's going on up here? Joys of giving. Generosity is a great virtue. One which the planet... Ladder. Singing through the veil to fill our lungs, and by extension, all of it. We got some Queen's blood over here. Let's go. The car traveler. <clears throat> You've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed. Each and every card holds within it a greater purpose, one that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. Alright, um, I think I do want to edit my deck. I've gotten some good cards lately. Where's that one that's like a replacement card? This is an interesting card. I like this one. Um, let's put it in there. Where's the other one that I had? I think I thought it was like a cheap replacement card. Maybe one, maybe two. I just won it like towards the end of last one, I think. Why do I feel like I'm replacement card? I... Oh, there we go. I think this is the one I wanted. Draw an allied card and replace it, yeah. Let's 
This is kind of interesting as well. Seems trickier to use though. What do we want to get rid of though? I feel like I never want to use this card. It's just too hard to use. I'm gonna delete that one. Hmm, gonna have to delete one of these. I guess I can delete this one, but I like that it spawns another card. It's kind of useful. It's not that good though. All right, let's try this. Wait, Two-Face Enhanced. Raise power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by four. Enfeebled, lower their power by four. Interesting. Let's destroy an ally card, replace it. Right, we don't want to necessarily do that. Let's do that. Damn, that's a strong player. I'd like to play that there. We're still okay. Oh no, they're gonna play something. No, you fucking bastard. They have another one? You son of a bitch. How many replacement cards can they have, right? That's what I'm talking about. Do I win? I just win right now? They draw cards, right? They continue to draw cards, so maybe I shouldn't risk it. Maybe I should just take my W. I'm gonna learn my lesson. because <clears throat> See the new card I added to my deck saved me. A turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked pall hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother. What are you prayer. talking about? Watch over your son. All right, we did it. Yay. All right, where to now? Oh, wait, there's another one over here.
chase the horizon. Embrace exploration. Since time in the moon. There you are. And it's a bald guy. Let's go. Oh, oh! It's our very first catch of the day, folks! We have ourselves a challenger. Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha! Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right, our audience doesn't want to hear commentary, they want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard. Let's go. When first enfeebled, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by two. <clears throat> Cloud's only 5 8, really? This is fun, I think. Damn it, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Shit. 
shit, they have something to play. There we go, nice. I'm pretty much the best Queen's Blood player in the history, I think. Talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. Stay tuned because Square we've had to got make a game that way. took 60 to uh, 80 hours to beat into a remake that has 300 plus hours long and is padded with BS. Well, I mean, that's like your opinion, man. I'm enjoying it. It's this dude. Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? Canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry night sky. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. All right, where is this? Okay, it's over there. Hmm. What's going on here? Wait, was I supposed to go down and talk with, like, Barrett and them? Hang on. Why are there two of these? Whatever, let's just go. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. <laughs> oh, thanks for telling me. Not so fast. Sorry. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wugenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. 
Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> Those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. I see. I never thought you could. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance. It is, in fact, a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. This looks comfortable. Just chill in a hammock right up there. <laughs> Do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. <sighs> that is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though I suspect it can't detect much now. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Sure thing, buggy. Can go up more. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Have I? I don't remember that. Oh, 
won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Is there anything else to look at? I don't see anything. Go back down. Y'all know me, know how I earn a living. I'll catch this well, bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. Though. Bad that fish, not like going down the pond chasing bluegills and tommy cons. This shark, swallow you, you whole. Little shaken, little tenderizing, and down you go. But it's not gonna be pleasant. I value my neck a lot more than 3,000 bucks, chief. I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him, and for ten. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Right, Strider Zero, thank you for the 10 months. Also, JMR Splat, thank you for the 100 bits. DJ Shrek, thank you for the sub as well. I don't think I said that. Welcome aboard, thank you, DJ Shrek. And Kurtka, thank you for the 100 bits. Awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> Fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. Like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? 
the body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? I don't know if you're looking for attention or actually posting spoilers or what, but let's just uh, get that guy out of here. I mean, most people know what happens in the original game, but it's been heavily hinted at that something different will happen in this one. We'll see. Alright, so what am I supposed to do? Get out of here. so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Is this the storeroom? Anything I might find useful, eh?
weapon. Crystal megaphone. We just got the red megaphone though. Still haven't even used that. Actually, I should uh, change that out before I forget. Uh, turning people going to take a time bomb. Use an equipped summons ability. Can only use while riding Moogle during battles in which summons are available. Cooldown increases with each use. Interesting. Huh. Wait, this one doesn't even have... It's a strange one. It has no materia. Very strange, okay. Did I get everything in here? I guess I did. Thank you for the 63 months. Really appreciate it. Strider Zero, thank you for the 10 months. Did I say that? Maybe I did. It's your faith. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. A bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. I'm with you. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? Okay. What are you saying? Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has a been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. What are we doing? Just going in here? My old man, he he used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid like me was you. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. 
Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Don't give me that bullshit. You start a story, you finish it. Cloud, if I may, allow me to add a new word to your lexicon. Decorum, meaning polite behavior, often used in the negative, like so. You sometimes exhibit a severe lack of decorum. Mm, I guess Red hates me now. Whatever. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet princes and repeats? No, we fight, but nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Hell yeah, Barrett. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. Where's Kate Sith? When you die, you return to the planet? Psst. That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. I can't wait to see what they've got planned. This river of lights thing sounds so cool. I can't wait. What kind of ceremony do you think the river of lights is?
So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. But it didn't say deepened. Was that the wrong answer? Hmm. So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. If I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Why is she even talking in this instance? Like, I don't understand. She just decided to randomly get up and give a speech. Said that you were mean to Red 13, though. Lol. Gray Wolf, thank you for the $50. Really appreciate it. Throw some hype in there for Gray Wolf. Uh, incredibly generous. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't know I was being mean. I thought he was uh, going to actually take kindly to that and be like, all right, I'll finish my story. You know? Like, that's what I would have said. <laughs> it's sad that Red thought I was being mean because I wasn't. Nails. Whoa. That's what that lady's voice sounded like. Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. 
So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Lights? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale, as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they will even move to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. May you cherish it all. <laughs> well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, vale, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Sure, let's do it. We go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Mm. Guggenhagen cosplay. No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? I see. A bench. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him. Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. 
whenever you're ready. Ready. All right, so we got Red and Barrett. Uh, <laughs> I like this is how the vending machine looks down here. Interesting. Um, I want to change materia here. Give Barrett some healing or something. Wait, Red has Kira, doesn't he? No, I guess not. Uh, I mean, Red has the ability to heal with, like, what do you call it? Siphon Fang or whatever. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. Hang on, I want to give someone a cess, I think. Do you have a cess? Red has a sess? Oh, red has a sess. Alright, that's fine. Approach glowing surfaces and use L to scamper along walls. Stop moving or press circle to drop. But remember to watch where you land. Look convenient. 
Where'd you run off to? I only got two legs here, you know. What do you guys think of Red's voice change? Do you like it? Sonic, I hate it, it's terrible. Yeah, I don't like it either. I think it's a fine idea, but it's just so different. It like doesn't even sound like his voice. What's up, Polar Plays? Alright, there was nothing really over there, so what am I doing here? Do I really need to fight these guys? I don't know. I guess I could go up more. Maybe not. Alright, whatever. The door may open if you cut the rope. Barrett, can you just like help me out, buddy? They stayed faithful to the OG and changed his mature voice to a kid voice, but there wasn't there were no voices in the uh in the original, right? I don't remember exactly how they did it in the original, but Damn, that doesn't look how like the prompts go away when you're right near them. Alright, whatever. I only got two legs here, you know. Where'd 
you run off to? Celestial Bangle. Do I have fire? No. Do I, I have a fire ability, don't I? No, I'm chilling. No escape! Good to go? Need my help, do you? Ooh, got a time! We're going down. Is there anything over here that I want to do? Any reason to climb up there? I don't really see one. Yeah, this is where we came from, but I don't think there's anything up there, so let's just go down. that boss fight of some sort what the hell is that that is a key it's huge <laughs> under normal circumstances I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover for the key however they're as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. Press and hold L2 near an object to grab it with your mouth and release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to automatically drop a held item. Grab the Gi artifacts and scatter them around the cavern and ask Bugenhagen to inspect them. I, dude, I, I'm like right next to it. How hard is it as a game developer to say, the player is right next to this object, let them push L, L2. It's like so frustrating, you know? I'm pushing L2. If it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Gi Warrior's Charm.
Oh, what is this? Cetra Talisman. Spirit by 10%, max MP by 10%. Do I not have this on Aerith? Hang on, what is the Gi thing? Where's that? I don't have Karmic Cowl on Aerith. Increases limit gauge fill rate by 10%. Oh, okay. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Oh. Dropped it on purpose down here, but ah, yes, an armament of the fade. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Mystic color. Call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Healing three star materia, nice. It's a good one. To see that you're enjoying yourself. Oh, wow, wow, What did I just get? I just got a new collar, right? Mystic collar. Deplete the vengeance gauge to increase Alice ATB potency proportional to amount expended. Materia, I feel like. What can I use here? Get the last one. Get rid of that thing. 
Floating elemental weakness. Fire. I have no fire. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Are these altars? Interesting. Because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, and one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. Try placing a statue on one of the altars. Wait, where's that other statue that I had? Did I not pick it up back here? Oh. Didn't I fight these guys over here and leave a statue behind? There it is. Ruby Gee statue. Daddy loves you. Is that it? 
Not in the least. Looking for the last one. I don't see it though. Is there a wall I can walk on somewhere? Block again? Oh, R1 guard. No. Fuck, I was not paying attention. What's up, Jewish space laser?
victory of the Vale is intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. Mm. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the key. It was vital to them in their plans. Were the key to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on! If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the key. Their malice grows more potent. Damn, this place is huge. Pressure when suggesting their opponent take a gamble, hitting them with a powerful offensive ability at this time will spin the roulette, enhancing or enfeebling their assailant depending on which face they land. Here goes! 
So how are we supposed to open this thing? How indeed? Thank you, it's not a gift. Infantry to Thunder, right? Go for it! Calamitous Bazooka. A wicked firearm imbued with the rancor of a tribe of fallen, of fallen warriors. Strike the ground and send nearby enemies flying. Wow, that was cool. A new materia. What do we want to give him? Healing, maybe? He doesn't have healing, does he? Could use fire. I don't have fire, though, do I? I only have one fire and one ice. Yeah, sure, take some healing. Massive recharge. Increase the amount of energy you regain when charging overcharge. Ability critical hit rate up. Overcharge. Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I feel like I do that a lot, but taking the critical hit stuff is nice too. Let's roll with this for now. get over there. I guess I can walk across there. Sp 
spider web. What do I need to that? Did it say the chain cannot be secured due to a broken what? Put it on this thing? Oh, okay, nice. I don't... I don't know what that other thing did for me. I guess it put the path across there. Altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes, but this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were ancient priestly This, however, was built to provide the Citra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth.
What did I just get? I didn't see it. Do I get fire materia? Do they have that here? I could. Might as well, right? Actually, should I do anything here? Oh, red has 35? Wow. Yeah, I definitely want that. I don't really care about that too much. That's fine. What is this? Is there a Red and Barret one, or do I already have that? Uh, let's just take the MP. Barrett has 15, I'll probably get something else. Sit on the fucking bench. Unbelievable. Inflicting up damage will pressure him. A curse will activate when the soul flames possess a statue. Have HP, have HP, deplete ATB, shrink battlefield. Staggering will undo the curse. Doom will inflict instant death after a certain amount of time. Oh my god. Cure, Gene attack. 
Let's go. I didn't heal much from that. I thought I was supposed to heal when I'm using a weapon ability against a staggered opponent. What the hell is this? There's so many. Where's a big bucket of water when you need it? Automatically die when this goes off.
Got him. If you use cure on the boss, you damage it, really? Become quite the what up, sweat foot? Fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? <laughs> Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <coughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mama Deep. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe... Wait, how did they get here? <laughs> what? No surprises remain. Huh? that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead, seek the great truths of our world! Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. 
and son of Seto. Protector of our veil. Vale. Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. Did this happen in the original? I do not remember. That was... Oh, an exciting turn of events I didn't indeed. think so. I don't remember that we'll at all. You up to uh. <laughs> now, Gee... Did we battle the Gee and Atak in the original, though? This one's free. Because I remember the, I, I kind of remember this part with the, his dad up there and things like that. Party selection unlocked. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of my wet here. I don't know. This E dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The home of the Gi lies beyond. We're expanding on the Gi backstory. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! Longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. This part doesn't make much sense. Why would you get on a boat with a guy you just battled and tried to kill you? Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. You know. Only because he mentioned material. Not only that, to go travel to the land of enemies. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra.
You are indeed one of them. By lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Okay, so we're going to the home of the Gi. Sector 5, Undercity. So there I am, oh. on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So Biggs is alive. Because that was... We saw that in the first game, right? And he died in the original? But this is implying he is alive. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. I thought this was in the past, but maybe it's not? I don't know. Right. Or sort of in the past. If he Still does not recover, clear. I don't want to know, so don't tell me in chat. You'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are, are we talking things about things the same cloud? Come on, the the guy's desperate Maybe to prove himself. Not like he needs to. But everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A sack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off pedal lane. I'm not looking wow, at shot, guys. Don't that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is 
An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like, a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Cause one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah. Mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, so they're like intentionally fucking with you in terms of like the timeline on this. What do you think's gonna happen to our baby? Because it doesn't make much sense. I just wish we could have seen their face. Hey, let's give them a look. We've got three days go. You and yours to something special, you know, but remember, only mm -hmm. one per person. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camp? Like the guy who only has to worry about the how, and doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? You're the guy I thought they were like frozen. Right. Have you ever brought you back, I guess? Right? And assuming there was someone, who could it have been? That's a good question. Square Enix. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want! Start like robbing folks and stuff. It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Kyrie. Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. 
I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head on too. Back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No. Oh, uh, sorry, forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. me the wind that was you wasn't it hello in there Village of the Gee. They play Queen's Blood. Welcome to the village of the Gi. They got vending machines. Jiglin. Jiglin, oh, a weapon. Whose weapon is this gonna be? Ceremonial Staff, Aerith? Uh, wow, attack goes up a lot. Conjure a ward, fill ATB charges within the ward to increase your allies' ATB charges, wow. Pretty interesting. Soon, but let's see what this is all about. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> You're here. 
hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. Uh, what's up, Hamzo? What's up, Ashley? Over on YouTube. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Ah, another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Is this a spirit that I can talk to? Hmm, I guess not. I don't know why it's a different color, though. The fuck? I thought we were talking to him, man. Fire is what the weak to get. We need to, uh, Aerith, Red, and Barret, and Kate Sith, they all have to learn shit. Can you have a non-cloud party? I don't even know. No, I don't think so. Red has to learn something new, and Barret has to learn something new, right? We kind of want fire, though. Wait. Who was it? Kate Sith, I guess. Well, Aerith. Aerith is good though. Aerith and Barret. That's my usual squad. Yeah, let's just go Aerith and Barret. They can learn their things and then we can go to the other one.
Bear would have to do smack that. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands? I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. A little late for that. What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, pure is the material no more. With pain and spite made a lack. Steeped in our one desire, pure is the material no more. My quaint black Steep in our one desire But material With pain and spite made black Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Stop. 
Wish you could give a couple at once. Good enough. Now what? Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The black materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least. I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. 
I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right breed. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Only you can prevent forest fires. Uh, I guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. Good morning, HK. Hope you slept well. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just Wait, so was this all just like a dream? We just get warped back here? That's just strange. change but yeah i think this is a good spot to wrap things up guys that's right end of the stream today got a lot done a lot of the story basically did story all day so that's good uh send it back to the title screen and then we'll uh continue on tomorrow the bison sacred thank you for the six months by the way really appreciate it i don't think i said that one yet um let's go find someone to read Good old Dan G. 88 head on over there. He's playing some. Is he playing Mario Maker 2? Uh, Goodbye, Mr. Streamer. Take it and enjoy the trip. Well, I'm still streaming tomorrow. Uh, there's a stream tomorrow. And then after that, I'll be uh, no stream on Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Will there be TTS Monster tomorrow? No, there will not be. Um, Kurtka, thank you for the 100 bits, though. Really appreciate it. Uh, head on over there to Dan's stream, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Adios, amigos.